Hello folks and welcome back to Shogun Total War. I am Kana Step and this is going to be part 12 of my Sengoku Jedi campaign where I am playing as Clan Takeda. And right now I am feeling pretty good about things. The last few episodes have been just mostly me consolidating and building up my forces and my economy. I am now training Heavy Cav here in Shinano and I'm feeling pretty good about it. The Yusugi clan is going kind of back and forth between attacking me here in Chinano and also trying to attack Kaga. Actually, I can't remember if they have taken Kaga by now. And no, they still have not taken Kaga. That is awesome for me. They are losing a lot of men, attacking and failing, uh, you know, against both me and the warrior monks and Kaga. So that's feeling pretty good. I don't think, even with their great economy, I don't think they've really teched up too high here. I'm seeing mostly archers and peasants and cav archers in their armies. So nothing that I really can't handle here, especially as I get more and more cav out. I am seeing a famous swordsmith here in Hida. So they are going to be getting plus two attack for their soldiers that are, that are trained here now. In fact, I think this is the first samurai archer that has that plus two attack. So that is going to make them more formidable in uh, melee combat, of course. But I think I'm still going to be okay here because I can keep training these heavy cav. Although for now I think I want to train up some Yari cav. I could use some more of them in my main army here in Shinano. And that's going to feel good. I want to get this army fully specced out so that I have my four heavy cav. I want four Yari cav. And then two cav archers. And then the rest is going to be a mix of samurai archers and Yari samurai. So it's going to be a cav heavy, of course, but I still want some infantry that's available to attack into forests if the um, AI armies, you know, decide to just kind of hide into a forest. I want to be able to go in there and take them out with my infantry if it does come to that. So it is summertime here. I got, that means I have two turns left to spend uh, this much money, 1597. So that's a bit of money to spend. But do I want to spend it all on soldiers or should I spend some of it on... Some upgrades, I think, maybe. What am I building here? Yeah, I'm working on a swordsmith here in Shinano. And what about Kai? Am I building anything? Yeah, I'm building a palace for extra morale in Kai. I'm not building anything in Totomi. So perhaps I could start something there. And then what about Aki? Am I doing anything here in Aki? Not yet. Hmm. You know what I am thinking is that I've been avoiding uh, building these economy upgrades here in Masashi and Mikawa just because I wanted to be able to defend these provinces first like uh, you know officially defend it so that I don't even lose it at all and have to retreat to a castle and I think that this is now that moment I think that I can actually just kind of if they want to attack I think I will win even though there's a lot of Ashigaru here I have just enough archers and cavalry to I think defend myself against anything that comes my way especially these provinces because they're looking so weak here in Kuzuke and Shomusuke so yeah I like that idea especially because in Masashi it's just it's so rich it makes 640 koku with uh, zero upgrades so this definitely should be getting a 20% increase for uh, farm income here in Masashi and it's also a cheap upgrade as well it only costs 250 Koku, so that'll be nice for me, and I can build a port after that. And do I want to do anything else? I mean, Mikawa, I could do the same thing. It's definitely not as rich; it only makes 260 Koku, but still, that I would say is worth uh, at least the the tier one um, upgrade for farm income. So, it's still worth it, I think. But for the time being, do I want to? Concentrate on anything else? No, I don't think so. I think I should get those two upgrades starting. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there is a lot of soldiers here in Mino, though. Yeah, actually. Yeah, the Oda does have a lot here. They have some Naginata, too. So they are getting some decent forces. A lot of Yari Cav. Holy moly. Yeah. One Star General, which is their heir, and then some Yari Cav with an armor upgrade and a weapon upgrade as well. It's not nothing. I think just on numbers alone, these armies are pretty dangerous. So, I mean, we are allied with the Yoda clan, though. And if I look into here, okay, yeah, they've actually taken 
Okay, so yeah, Central Japan is mostly under their control. The only province they don't have right now is Isa. So, they're not obliged. I mean, they could break their alliance for sure. I mean, this is an okay little army here in Mikawa, but still, there's nothing. My only infantry is the Ashigaru. I don't really have any area samurai here. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Huh. Maybe what I do. I can just send one Yari Samurai, I guess. Just send one down here to Mikawa. And. Do I want to start those upgrades here? Maybe not. Maybe not in Mikawa. Maybe not right now. I can just focus on Masashi and. Do I want to train anything? No. In, in, in Kai? I could train more Yari Kev just to get those out faster. I won't get the plus one um, honor upgrades or morale upgrades. And I also won't get the armor upgrades for my units here in Kai, but I may as well do it just to get it, you know, get them finished faster. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems okay, and is there anything else I want to be doing right now? I know my heirs are, so I got an heir that's eight years old, so he's still eight years away because of coming uh, before he comes of age, and I do have this heir as well, who is my second eldest son, and I, I was, I'm not really sure what to do with him right now because I have so many good, uh, good generals. I have a lot of three-star generals, and he is only a two-star. So right now he just represents kind of like my second fallback option in case Takeda Shingen, God forbid, uh, in, in case he dies. But yeah, if that's the case, then I would at least have this heir also protected. Now I think I want to bring him up to Shinano. It's not, okay, so I can't do that right now. I was wondering if I'd already, um, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. I'll just keep him here in Sagami for this turn. So he's protected by these uh, Shinobi. And then I can move him up to Shinano in the next turn. The thing is, is that it's a little bit risky because if I fight a battle where the Daimyo would, of course, be the general of the army, and I wouldn't know which unit of Cav Archers my heir is in, so there's a chance that he could die, but Cav Archers are typically pretty safe. For the most part, they have the speed to get away from any... You know, anyone that's chasing them. And, of course, they can typically stay out of melee combat as well. Of course, that also depends on my competence when it comes to controlling them. So, it's not a guaranteed thing, but I'm going to try... I'm, I'm going bring to Sh bring him up to Shinano and then see if I can keep him safe there. Or maybe I just bring him to Masashi. That's not a bad idea either. Yeah, maybe I just bring him to Masashi. Huh. I'll think about it. I'll think about what I want to do there. But in any case, there's really nothing else for me to do right now. I'm training up soldiers. And... Saving up money. Well, yeah. Saving up a little bit of money left for uh, next turn, that is. So let's keep going. Alright, Ninja House is finished in Izu. And now I can start working on... Let's see, okay, ooh, Oda's going to war with the Yasugi clan. All right, go Oda, man. Hopefully they, they took Hida, that would've been nice. Uh, yes, so, so the Yusugi did retreat from Hida. Nice, awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, because we are allies, so this is good for me. Yeah, awesome, go Oda, man, sweet. And they did, they did that without like any, any decent generals. Oh my god, did they lose their heir? No, their heir's still here. Okay. Yeah, their heir's still here in Mino. But look at this. I mean, their daimyo here is negative three stars for the Yusuke clan. He's just so bad. And all of these units are negative honor. Negative one honor. It's just so pitiful. Oh god. It's just hilarious. I love seeing this. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so that's gonna, gonna be good. And uh, I don't have a ton of money left. Can I start working on the next upgrade? See, it's going to cost me 500 Koku to get a large castle going, which I can't do right now, which is too bad. But I can start that in the um, 
the next... Oops, not that there. Next year, I can start building a large castle in Izu because I want to get up to the Geisha house so I can at least defend myself from any uh, Geisha assassination shenanigans in case the Yusuke clan wants to get a little bit uh, tricky with me. So, yeah, that's going to be fine. Let's see. Got some... Yeah, this is all looking good. And I can at least train up one more unit of Yari Cav. And that's probably going to be, be it for now. I can't bring my heir up to Masashi. I think I, I think that I like that. That's okay. That's okay. Do that. And... Yeah, I can bring these Shinobi up to Masashi as well. And what what is he doing? I can't really remember. I can bring him over to... Hmm... See, now Makawa is looking pretty good. Because these armies that were bordering Makawa, now they're in Hida and they don't border Makawa anymore. So now we can just bring soldiers up to Shinano. Just, you know, just in case the Oda does backstab me, which... If they're going to go to war with the Yasugi clan, they, they should not backstab me. They should really stay on my side so that they can focus on the Yasugi clan. So that, yeah, that would be nice. Awesome. Sweet. Finally, it feels like it's just been me going to war against everyone this entire time. And finally... Uh, we have another war breaking out, so that's, that just feels good. Oh, cool. So, and yeah, so the Shimazu clan was allied with the Yasugi clan, but they broke their alliance with the Yasugi clan to remain allied with the Oda clan, which means that I potentially could make an ally with the Shimazu clan. Now, I do need to train up an emissary because my last two emissaries have gotten killed by, um, not even ninjas. They've been killed by, well, one of them was killed by a ninja, but then, like, I think two of them were killed by, by daimyos, you know, by trying to get a peace treaty, and they just got their heads chopped off. So I don't think I can afford that right now. This is gonna cost 375, so 475. Ooh, yeah, actually, yes, I can afford an, in, um, an emissary. Yeah, go, go, emissary. And then I can send them over to the Shimazu and try to get a alliance with them. That would be nice. Just for the extra money. And, you know, potentially just to stop it so they won't attack me here in Nagato. That would be nice as well. Alright, yeah, things are still looking pretty mild here. Like, the Mori clan isn't really doing anything because they're too poor. And, um... Yeah, let's pump up the taxes. Punitive, do that. Everything is looking good over here, and everything is looking good over here. Alright, yeah, let's go. Ooh, making 3,000 Koku. That's not a lot of money. <laughs> so, it's a good thing I got that economic uh, upgrade going in Masashi, because I will need some extra cash there. And I have caught and killed a Shinobi in, Sh in uh, Shinano. And that's what the average harvest. Ooh, that, that hurts. So an average harvest is only going to get me 3,000 Koku now. So yeah, I need to get some more upgrades going in Mikawa and Musashi. In fact, I'm going to start that right away. I'm going to get, yep, this going here in Mikawa. And yeah, and then next year, I think maybe I just start building a port here in Musashi. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. And maybe even, yeah, this can help too if I can get a an alliance with the Shimazu clan. That could also help. So let's send my emissary over there. Try to get some more money that way. Looks like nothing else is really happening between the Oda and the Yusugi. That's fine. So I don't have a ton of money to spend, but obviously I do want to keep training up soldiers. So maybe all of my money for this year will just be spent on that. Yeah, that might be the case. I might just be building that one economic upgrade in Makawa, and then the rest just is all going towards soldiers. That might be the case. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to get a little tricky, but I think that's what I'm going to do here. So... What do I want to build now? So I got one, two, three, Yuri Cav. And now I just want 
Let's see. Let's just do one more Yari calf for now. And that's probably it. Maybe just do one turn at a time here in Chinano. Play this a little bit slow. Play this a little bit safe here. Just to see how things go. And I can keep training Shinobi as well. That's fine. Yeah. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. I think everything else is looking okay. Tax is on a very low. And yeah, see, this is what I mean. So my heir is in this army with this three-star general, so I'm guessing that the three-star general will be the general because he is the highest starred general. But I have two units of cav archers, so when I go into the battle, if I do fights here in Masashi, I'm not going to know which one of these cav archers is my heir, so that's a little bit, a little bit tricky, but... Hopefully, you know, this is a river province. If I do have to fight a battle here, hopefully, you know, it goes okay and I don't lose my air that way. But yeah, that's going to be it for this turn. Let's see, I can just get another, um, another, another Yari Samurai in this army. Or I'm sorry, Yari Cav, there we go. Organize my guys a little bit here, and yeah, that's looking, uh, yeah, that's looking good. So I'm training up a Yari Cav, and yeah, that's probably going to be it. So let's end this turn. All right, Palace is finishing Kai for that plus one morale. And let's see, don't break your, no, 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 don't attack me. All right. All right. Let's see, I caught another shinobi here. When the Chirano. day is done, Whoa. I take a tree for my lodge oh. on my weary way. Whoa, okay. So, the Yusuke clan is over with. The daimyo was assassinated. And that's it. Wow, I wonder who did that. Was that the Oda clan? Huh. Whoa, so this is all just rebel territory up here. I mean, unless, did some of it go to... Because they didn't have any allies, did they? Wow, that's all rebel territory now. Holy crap. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> huh. I mean, the Oda is a little bit roadblocked here in Echu. Like, they still have a decent amount of forces that they'd have to kill before they can get into these territories. Now, maybe they can't... Yeah, and they can't... Yeah, Kaga is also going to roadblock them as well. I'm assuming that those... Yeah, the rebels are still there in Kaga. Yeah. So... This is just kind of all up for grabs for me, for the time being. Like, unless the Oda clan wants to go... That's the thing. Now now that, that, now that the Yusuke clan is over with, the Oda actually might attack me. Instead of trying to go through the Yusuke clan or the rebels up here... I mean, the, sorry, the rebels in both of these provinces. They might decide that going through me is easier. Yeah, that might be what they choose to do. And, they, yep, they got another decent stack here as well. Yeah, it's a decent little stack. Not a lot of archers, though. Only one unit of archers, and that's the air. It, yeah, it's mostly melee armies. I will say that. It's mostly Yari Cav and Ash Ashigaru, which is an interesting composition, to say the least. Huh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. Okay. I think I will be able to start... Focusing again on building up the second stack here in Shinano. I will have just enough money for To complete this stack my daimyo stack of my cav My you know my cav centric army and then I do want a Pretty a balanced stack between archers and spearmen here in Shinano just to defend it Well, I send my daimyo's army to go attack these rebels that are to the north of me so I think I will have enough money to spend on that, so I'll train up some archers here in Totomi. And yes, just that heavy cav in Shinano as well. And then some more uh, shinobi in Agato is always a good thing. And that's going to be it for now, so let's just keep moving on. Moving along. Yeah, improved farmland is done in Masashi, that's going to be good. Let's see if I can find that Shimazu Daimyo as well. You better not attack me, guys. Alright, the rebels are going to go in on Hida. And let's see, what? No. Oh no! I forgot to bring my, oh, I brought my air up to Shinano. And I only brought, I didn't bring any of the Shinobi over. Oh no, I only have two Shinobi in Shinano.
Oh, come on. Damn. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. I slipped up for one turn. For one freaking turn. I moved my air from Masashi into Shinano. And I didn't bring his, his four bodyguard shinobi. Oh, God, that sucks. Damn. Even with two shinobi, I'm telling you, like, two is enough for the daimyo, but it's not enough. It's not enough for uh, everyone else, else, even even the heirs. God damn, that's that's rough. Oh. Well, my other, my other heir is uh, nine years old, so he's... Seven years away. God damn. <laughs> That's just so brutal. In any case, let's see. We got uh, so we're this this army is one unit away of being ready. So yes, one more one more heavy cav unit, and then I can start attacking. Okay, and the rebels did take Hida from the. From the uh, Oda clan. Is this the... I think these are... My, yeah, these might be the warrior monks from Kaga, is it? Because these have... Warrior monks. And this is a five-star general, which wasn't a Yusugi general. I think this was the five-star general that was in Kaga. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, the Oda clan's in trouble now. Yeah, I wonder... Is there air? Yeah, their air lost a star. He's only a, he's a zero star general now. Jesus, rough. That is rough for the Oda clan. Yeah, now that now that they made the, the warrior monks angry, they're uh, they're in some trouble. So, yeah, yikes for them. Okay, so heavy cav in Shinano and let's see what else what else do I want? Probably just some more archers here in Totomi. That'll be fine and. As always, let's get some more shinobi going. Because I do see... I see a ship somewhere. Where the, where's that ship? Yeah, there's a Portuguese ship right there. And I, I haven't been able to talk to them yet. They haven't landed on any of my provinces. But when I get a chance, I will try to accept Portuguese... Or, <laughs> accept Portuguese. I will try to accept Christianity. I'm not quite ready yet, but... um. I do want, like, once I have Shinobi in all these provinces, then I will do that thing. So here is the Shimazu Daimyo. He's not allies with, with anyone that I'm at war with. Actually, I'm not at war with anyone except for the rebels. That's nice for a change. So yeah, let's see if we can get an alliance here. That would be nice. Yes, more money for me. And there still doesn't seem to be any danger, really, from the Mori clan. Hmm. Although it would be nice, I will say, it would be nice to get a border watchtower here just so I can see what's going on in these provinces. And it looks like the Shimazu down here still aren't really doing anything, which is, that's all good. I like that. That's fine with me, so. All right, let's see. Taxes are still very low, and let's continue on. All right, so the Oda is going to try to take back Hida, and it looks like yes, I got an alliance with the Shimazu clan. Sweet, awesome, and I and that one should hold. And it looks like the Oda did take back Hida. Okay, good for them. Wow, that's a it's pretty sweet man. Oh wow, this this uh, warrior monk general is this five star warrior monk general is down to nine men in that unit, and this three star warrior monk general is also down to thirteen men. So yeah, they they took some hits. Holy crap. Wow, I don't know how they did that, because there's no archers in these armies. There's, like, barely any archers. <laughs> how many Ashigaru had to die to take Hida back from Echu? That's just hilarious. Wow. That's insane. All right, so this army, I think it's ready to go. Let's see. Just have to move one more unit of Yari Samurai out. And what do I got? So I got... Four heavy cav, yes, and then four yari cav, two cav archers, and then I have a very small infantry corps of three yari samurai, two samurai archers, and then my general, my daimyo. And I'll tell you what, I think it's time. 
Ah, oh, damn. Uh, see, I wanted my, my heir to be leading this army here, so I could have a, you know, at least a decent general there. And do I have anyone else I can send? Or should send? Not really. Hmm. I could just send this general from Mutsu. This three-star general. Or even this one-star general, this, this uh, archer unit. Yeah. Huh. Maybe that's what I do? I don't know, I think three stars is important because I don't think I'm going to get attacked from this direction. But I might get attacked from the south. You know, potentially from the Yoda, right? Because I don't know if I have any other generals I can send. I could send this three star general from Hokey. I'm not really using him, right? You know, he's just kind of hanging out here in Hokey. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's, yep, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to send him down here. Oh no, there's no port. No! Okay, so I have to send him to Izumo first, because there's no port in Hokey. And he'll make his way over. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is, I think I want to attack right away. I think Shinano will hold well enough. So let's attack Kazuke. I reckon the rebels here will give up Kazuke without a fight. And there shouldn't be, there's no border forts here, so I, so I should be able to bring my shinobi with me. And other than that, I just want to keep my shinobi here moving along. And let's see. Yeah, you can go to Kai. And then up here, they can keep moving along as well. You go here, you go here. Yeah, so just a couple more provinces need Shinobi up, Shinobi up here, or down here in the south. Oops, not, not there. And let's see, it is autumn, so let's see, let's get those taxes pumped up. How are we looking? Looking good, looking good, sweet. Alright, so not a ton of money to spend, but I can at least purchase... Huh, what do I want to spend it on? I don't think I, I can't really build any buildings. Um, more soldiers, I guess? I don't know, my economy is a little strapped. And, let's see, what do I have here in Shinano? Yeah, not a lot of calf. So let's, let's just train some more calf here. Some more yard calf, that's good. That'll do. Actually, yeah, that's not going to work because this shinobi is going to cost some money. Okay, never mind. Let's just do, um, not that. But maybe, hmm. Is there anything else I want to spend right, like, purchase right now? Maybe, maybe a ninja, actually. Yeah, yeah, ninja. Let's do that. They'll they'll bring me up to 300 Koku, and that'll be fine. Yeah, sweet. Just to get it going, you know. And I can move my, I can start moving my emissary around to spy. I want to see what's going on with the Mori clan. So let's go up here, and just see what's going on. Maybe I can actually get an alliance with them finally. That would be nice. And yeah, that should be it. So let's get this, uh, yeah, we're finally attacking. Finally, yeah, sweet. All right, let's get this underway. Ooh, man, not making a lot of money, but the border watchtower is finished here in Mima, uh, Mikawa, or sorry, Mimasaka, and then the improved farmland is finished here in Mikawa. And yeah, the rebels did retreat from Kazuke. And I did pillage 650 Koku. Nice, I needed that. Sweet. That feels good. And then I did catch another Shinobi here in Nagato. And let's see, Poor Harvest. So making 2700 with Poor Harvest is, is uh, yeah, it's, it's bad, but it's not that bad, I guess. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't know why like, it showed me that video because I don't own Bison. I do have an emissary there, though. So yeah, the Portuguese are talking to the Mori, but I don't know if the Mori are going to accept that. Yeah, they're not Christian yet. No one's Christian yet. So, let's see. I want to just see if I can see anything important. 
Yeah, they're not really doing anything here. Moria are just too poor. They're too broke. Oh, but I can... Oh, yeah. What, what am I... Yeah. I can try to get an alliance. Yes, I can try that. How many turns before this castle falls? Ooh, one year. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Um, what is here? A warrior monk unit. Damn, they, they just started training warrior monks. The Yusuke clan just started training warrior monks when they got assassinated. Wow. Wow, wow. There is two archers and a cav archer, though. So that's going to do some damage to me, honestly. Damn. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, like... I don't want to fight that, honestly. Because even if I send my, my cav to, like, rush those archers in the castle, then the warrior monks are going to do some damage to me. So it's kind of a... Kind of a tricky little position. But that's going to take... That's going to take five turns to starve them out. Oof. I just can't... I don't think I can wait that long. What I can do is try to send some soldiers from both Musashi and Shinano and just keep moving along with my Daimyo's army. So where would I want him to move? To Shimotsuke, I'm guessing, maybe? Would I want to move up to Echigo? Hmm... Yeah, it's kind of a tricky decision, honestly. Well, if I do bring up these four Ashigaru from Musashi, along with these beaten up units from Shinano, they're not too beaten up. I got 40 Yari Samurai in this unit, 49 Archers, 52 Armor, Bronze Armor Upgraded Yari Samurai, a 23-man unit of Cav Archers, a 42-man unit of Heavy Cav. It's not a great army, but... It might be enough, along with these Ashigaru, just to provide enough numbers to hold this garrison here in this castle in Kazuke for five turns, that is. Now, they could sally out and try to fight me. And if they did that, they could win, but I, I, I could win as well. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to send my Daimyo into Shimotsuke. Mm -hmm. And I should actually get a fight here. It looks like they actually have a decent amount of soldiers here in Shimotsuke. And it's risky leaving... This is not even a finished stack here in Shinano. I do have a three-star general. And I do have a decent bit of archers and some, you know, Yari Samurai. I do have one unit of Cav Archers. But if the Yoda Clan wanted to betray me, I mean, they could do some damage to me. But they have so many Ashigaru. That's the thing. So I just don't think they could, you know, beat me, honestly. The Rebels, on the other hand, they have a lot of archers. So the Rebels might be able to do some work. Especially with that five-star five general. Hmm. So I think I definitely need to keep training soldiers here in Shinano. So let's get some more heavy cav going here. And do I want to send, like, any soldiers from Mikawa? I don't think so. Just because they do have this decent stack here in Mino. So I think I want to make sure I hold Makawa. Yeah, that's the that's the idea there. Now I should start focusing on ports here in Musashi. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get some ports going. And that's gonna cost a bit. Not like not not like the end of the world, but it's going to cost a bit. And I do want to make sure I save up money for the rest of the year as well. So I think that's probably going to be it. Unless I do, of course, make some money by attacking these provinces. That, of course, is possible as well. But yeah, I definitely want to be able to train up soldiers in Shinano to make sure I can hold Shinano. That's going to be very, very important to me. So unfortunately, I won't be able to keep working on uh, teching up to ninjas or geishas here in Izu. That's going to have to wait yet another year, which is too bad. And I would like to be able to tech up my cav in Shanano as well by building, you know, everything. Famous armory, famous swordsmith, palace, all of these good things would be great, but I just can't do it right now. I gotta, gotta focus on the bare essentials. So let's hope the Oda clan keeps fighting against the rebels and they just leave me alone and then hopefully these rebels down here 
and Shomosuke don't like attack Misashi while I'm attacking them. And hopefully these rebels in Shimosa also don't attack Musashi. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, without those four Ashigaru, this army here in Musashi is looking a little bit bare bones. Hmm. Things could get interesting here. Things could really start to get interesting. And yeah, my air is still a ways away. All right. Let's see. Um, yeah, and I am trying to get that alliance. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's move along. All right, so luckily, ooh, what, okay, what happened? <laughs> oh, crap. Um, what the hell's going on right now? Did I? So it looks like, see, this is why, okay, this is always, always confusing in this game. So yeah, even though it looks like my Daimyo's army made it sh to Shimotsuke, because the armies that were already there, the rebel armies, have attacked my armies in Kazuke and they basically kind of like met up in the middle. So they denied my Daimyo's army from actually going to Shimotsuke, even though they look like they're there, right? They're not. Because this is saying that I have 1,300 men here. Now, the two small armies that I brought up from Musashi and Shinano to um, continue that siege there does not equal 1,355 men. Not at all. So that means that it has to be including this army here, my Daimyo's army. That has to be the case. And that's fine. I, I believe it looks like the rebels brought in reinforcements from Echigo and Shimotsuke. And I maybe even... I wonder if they brought them in from, like, Mutsu as well. Huh. Yeah, that would be interesting. In any case, yeah, I'm definitely going to fight this. Oh, yeah, right, because my, my army is down here, and you can see my Daimyo is right there. So yeah, this definitely does include this army, my Daimyo's army. And I'm definitely going to fight it. Um, I don't think the the rebels have a one-star general, and that's it. So let's see what they have. Well, I'm fighting in the fog in the wintertime. That's always going to be a, a, tricky, a tricky thing. It's hard to see anything. And off the top of my head, I'm not too familiar with Kazuke, so... Uh, this is going to be a little bit treacherous fighting here in the fog and not knowing where I'm going. I don't think I'm going to get too fancy with this. I think I'm just going to form up here in the middle on this little hill here. It's nothing too crazy. Nothing, like, nothing, not a ton of cover, really. I want to stay away from the forests. And judging by the mini-map up here, it looks like there is a handful of forests uh, kind of scattered throughout this map. But there's also a decent amount of open terrain as well. So I'm going to try to just be wary of that and stay out of the forest with my cav and maybe actually just kind of like back up here and like, you know, I wouldn't have great high ground back here, but I would have a lot of open ground if I just kind of go back here and that might be good enough, you know, just kind of stay away from this area so that I don't have a flank sitting there in the woods. That's not what I want. I can just kind of back up and defend from right all the way back here. I am all set here. I'm ready to go. I got my small infantry corps sitting right here in the middle, backed up by my general with two heavy cav units. And then I got a formation of heavy cav and yari cav, and then a formation of yari cav and cav archers. So kind of the light cav are in front to screen out my heavy cav, and then my heavy cav are also have a companion yari cav unit that can kind of help get around the enemy screen out and all that good stuff. So. Let's see what the enemy has here. Coming right in with a unit of cav archers, so luckily I got some Yari Cav that can immediately chase them down and get rid of that unit. And let's see if the rest of the army comes up. I mean, as we know, the AI does struggle sometimes to find me in the fog, even when I'm standing right out in the open. So let's see what happens here. I don't want to get too crazy with chasing those cav archers. So let's just go back here. I don't want them to lure me, like, you know, into the forest or into their awaiting armies. It's looking like they are swinging wide around my left flank here, so I'm just going to have to reposition. Ooh, they do have some warrior monks there, and I'm simply just going to have to reposition my army to kind of face 
this threat coming from my left, which is a little bit, a little bit annoying, but I think that's okay. I can just kind of swing down around here and then bring my flanks around as well. I've retreated back a little bit and tried to turn to face to where I think they're coming from, but I just can't see anything right now. I can't see anything over this hill, so I can hear them off in the distance, but I'm not sure where they're at right now. In this case, I think I'm a little bit tempted just to keep backing up and maybe put my back to like this hill here. That seems like what I want to do. So let's try to get my infantry just kind of back up while I still have the time. Ah, there's the general right there in a unit of calf archers kind of parked right in front of me. And it looks like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to chase, even though it's tempting. He's sitting right there. I'm not going to chase him. I'm just going to use this time to get reformed. I need my infantry to get all the way up here on this hill. So they have quite a ways to move first. And the enemy is right there. So hopefully my infantry can get into position before this becomes a clash. I'm not seeing, so it's mostly archers. There is one, at least one unit of warrior monks. I'm not sure if that's all there is. But yeah, warrior monks, couple units of cav archers. Again, nothing too crazy. Their general is taking shots now from, let's see, my... It looks like they're just trading with my one unit of cav archers right now. But yeah, they're not even shooting. They're shooting at my heavy cav. So my heavy cav have good armor, so they're, they're, they can tank those shots. Well, my cav archers are shooting just point blank at them. But now the enemy army is starting to creep up a little bit here. So let's just, just back up with that wing. Because now they're going to start taking shots from all these archers. And I don't want that to happen. And it looks like, hmm. So we do have, I almost feel like we could have an opening here on this flank. But it's not, it's not quite an opening yet because there is still some warrior monks there. I would, look, would like to get some shots in on them before I, you know, charge down these units of archers on this side. And how are we doing over on this side? It looks like looks like I have room on this side. Yeah, cav archers, samurai archers. Yes, I do have room. So in this case, let's get swing out wide here. Here and here. And then where are those warrior monks? So they they haven't quite committed to an engagement yet. So let's kind of suck them in here. I do have two units of foot archers that can get shots in and maybe, hmm, maybe rotate you guys a little bit here. Just so that these archers can get a better shot in. And yeah, they're, they're pushing hard on my, on my cav, my cav heavy right flank, which I'm fine with for now, but I just want to make sure that I can get rid of those warrior monks before I really commit to, to anything here. And on this side, though, this feels like something I can commit, commit to. Because, yeah, I can just do this. Send Yari Cav after those Cav Archers. Send my Cav Archers after their Samurai Archers. And then just swing this flank to face this side so I can push them away. And... Alright, now we're getting shots in on those Warrior Monks, right? You're shooting here, and you are also shooting Warrior Monks, I think. That would feel good. And are you shooting warrior monks? Yeah, please shoot some warrior monks. And how are we doing here? Where are spears? So spears are going to come out. It looks like that's the only unit of spears that they have. And why are you guys not engaging? Like seriously, you guys got to go and kill those guys there. And yeah, wherever those spears go, I need to keep an eye out for. And on this side, yeah, it's ready. It's go time. Let's attack. Cav archers uh, go in as well. And then this flank can go in. Just charge down and where I can't I feel, I feel like I lost those warrior monks again. Where do those warrior monks go? Yep, there they are. Warrior monks are right there. Alright, run down. Run down warrior monks, run down Yari Samurai. And now I can bring my reserves in. My general's unit of reserves can come in here. Now there is gonna be reinforcements as well. So I need to make sure I can get all of the kills that I can right here. And then I can link back up on that forest. Or maybe just push. Maybe that's the play. But I don't want to get too separated just because the, it's, you know, foggy and it's winter time. So my men will get, will get tired and run out of energy quicker because they're fighting in the snow. 
And because it's foggy, I'm going to have a harder time keeping track of everyone. So I might just fall back to this for to this hill here and be a little bit conservative. Just because I don't want those reinforcements to come on and then I kind of lose track of you know everyone and then I just lose a bunch of units of cav. That would be unfortunate. And that's going to be it. The time limit has expired. That's it for the battle. I did get 743 kills, so there is about half, a little more than half of the army is left, and uh, that is fine. At least I, you know, won the battle. They took a lot of casualties, and any subsequent battles coming up in these territories should be easier to fight. And, yeah, so also what that means is, is that I killed off... Um, oh, yeah, so what happens is, is that when, you sal when an army sallies out from a castle... And there's, a, and there's a sally battle, and then that battle's lost, a lot more men end up in that castle, and they have to share the same amount of resources, you know, food and water. So in this case, what was going to take five turns for this castle to fall is now going to fall at the end of this turn right now because there's more men in the castle sharing those resources. I feel like that's a very elegant system in this game that's just really, it's understated how well done that is. It's it, because it makes sense, right? So in this case, that was a great thing for me because this province is going to fall at the end of this turn completely to me, which is awesome. And now my daimyo is a fifth rank. That's also awesome. Sweet. Good job, man. And, oh man, the Mori clan still does not want to become my ally. That is just such a bummer. Damn. What did I ever do to you? Uh, just kidding. Uh, I know what I did. All right, so let's see. Yeah, this is just going to take one turn for this to fall here in Kazuke. And I think I can just go right after, you know, Shimotsuke again. Yeah, Echigo's empty now because whatever attacked me from Echigo is dead, I'm assuming. Um, and yeah, this army in Shimotsuke is, is very, it's very weak. It's very weak. What is here? Yeah, hopefully they don't sally out. I mean, there's 28 men in that warrior monk unit. Some archers left, some cav archers left. I could probably still win. I mean, I do outnumber them. And I have a decent amount of cav in this army to at least run down the archers. And then also shoot the... Yeah, I can also shoot the warrior monks. Yeah, I, I suppose maybe I could win that if I had, if I had to fight that battle. In any case, yeah, I can shake, take uh, Shimotsuke next turn. Where did all my shinobi go? I thought I sent... Huh. I thought I sent, like, a bunch of shinobi to Shimotsuke. Did I not? Hmm. Maybe not. I can't, rem I can't remember. Uh, in any case... Yeah, this is looking good. I can continue my attack against the rebels here in the north and hopefully start making some more money here because, yeah, I'm just getting a little bit strapped for cash. What's my income? Let's see, my total profit is, yeah, 1600 That's not a lot. That is not a lot. So I need to start making some more money. Am I, did I start? Yeah, I'm building that port here in Masashi. That's going to help out eventually. It's going to be four turns, but still, that will help out eventually. Would be nice if I could get a gosh dang alliance with the Mori clan, but I guess it's not going to happen. So I can just keep using my emissary to spy up here in Harima. And of course I can keep using, yeah. So now I have Shinobi in all of my provinces here in southern, uh, southern Hanshu. So now I can simply start building more Shinobi to fill up my provinces here in the north. And that's going to be very helpful because as soon as I do get a chance to talk to those Portuguese, I do want to convert to Christianity so that I can you know, make the extra buck off of those trading posts and those churches eventually. So that's going to be good for me. And things are going quite well, I'd say. Some very interesting turn of events. I'm really surprised to see the Yasuke clan gone already, but that's going to be okay. I just wanted to say that's going to be it for now. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and thank you very much for watching. I've been Kana Step, and this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye.